what's up guys i am today in yes i am in russia so i'm fishing today with my buddy kirill hey what's up guys we are approximately 350 kilometers northeastern from Moscow. Uh, the federal state which where we are is called Ivanovo, so or on Russian Ivanovo Oblast, and it's quite a nice state. It's very green, a lot of nature here, a lot of woods. Everything around here is very green, as you will see in this video. And we are going to fish a water reservoir, which is called on Russian Uvodskoye Vodohranilishe, or just the Uvod water reservoir. It is large, it's quite big, so it's around 12 kilometers long, which equals, I guess, seven and a half, eight miles. Um, it's around half a kilometer wide. Um, we have fished this river, this reservoir last year. We caught plenty of fish, so there is a lot of fish in there. However, it's quite small, so we caught common bream, common roach. Uh, there should also be some carp. I, I highly doubt that we are going to see any carp, but the goal is very clear. We want to catch a large bream. Last time we fished there, we caught bream maximum to 30 centimeters, which is, I don't know, 20, 20 inch, so quite small. And the goal is to catch a fish close to one kilogram. So I'm re I really hope that we're going to catch it. I doubt, to be honest. I'm not very positive, but I still want to catch one of those. And we will stay there overnight. We're going to spend at least 15 hours fishing. So we have some time and we hope for good fish and you will see everything now. So, we just arrived to our fishing spot. It's a quite nice spot, to be honest. Um, what's not so nice is, <laughs> I mean, now it's nice, but last year we were fishing there, here, and our tent was right there. You see, it seems that over the last year, this tree has just fallen, fallen down. Thankfully, <laughs> it was not while we were camping here. So besides that, um, it's a little windy still, but it seems that the wind will stop at the beginning of the evening, at the beginning of the night. So it's now windy afterwards when the, when the hot season, when the hot time for fish starts, uh, there should be no wind. Um, I've already here put out my rods, so they're already waiting for the first bite. We have a small tent. We're not planning to sleep through the whole night, so it's going to be like two, three, maximum four hours of sleep. We will use the night to fish because the fish here tend to be more active at night. At night. Um, besides that, we have here also a small table. There's all our stuff. We will cook a little bit in the evening. And now we're just waiting for the first bite. And while we're waiting, I will explain you how I'm fishing. I have here two rods, bait runner reels, so if the fish bites, it can, uh, it can pull line from the reel. The left one is with a feeding basket, a classic feeding basket, a lead core leader and a hair rig, so the fish hooks itself. On the right one, I am using a method feeder basket with a shorter uh, hair rig and I'm fishing both on, on corn, the, la the left one is just on corn and the right one is corn and maggots. I have on both sides the same ground food. So it's a ground food for bream. It's a Polish company, it's very common. I know it from Austria as well. We can buy it here in Russia as well. So 
I have mixed to it some corn wheat, some dog food as well here, you can see it, some classic corn. The difference is this one I've mixed just with water out of the reservoir. This one has a special bream molasses, so it's some kind of liquid with, with actually a very nice smell. Um, and I just want like to test the difference between the one with this additional aroma and the one without anything. Um, as I said, I'm fishing both rods on corn. I have also some mini, some mini boilies with me uh, in three uh, in three tastes: copex, mussels, and strawberry. Yeah, and that's that's basically it. Yes. I forgot to tell you, <laughs> there's a military airport, airport just like a few kilometers behind us. So we will enjoy the whole day and night the sound of some military airplanes. lucky enough the storm passed us and we did get a little wet but just a few drops so now it's around yeah actually half past nine only but it's still already dark uh, because it's very cloudy and we are now waiting for the best time I hope that within a few minutes at least half an hour hour the hot hot time is going to start and I hope that we're going to catch some fish I really want to get some nice bream I hope so at least I have now switched from corn and maggots to the left one is mini boily 8 millimeter strawberry taste and corn and the right one uh, on the right one I have three maggots and the copex taste mini boily yeah so we're now waiting good morning everybody it was a rather short night no actually it wasn't I could catch like four hours of sleep or three and a half hours sleep at least it wasn't that comfortable in the tent because we did not check the floor and it was like full of stones so it was a rather hard sleep however I had no bite or just one bite on my rods couldn't catch anything Kirill caught I guess around four breams but they weren't the largest one so now it's 5.15 in the morning and we have another three, three and a half hours to fish and I hope that I will catch now something. Stay tuned.
So my first bream of the trip. <laughs> it's not the size I wanted to catch, but hey, at least it's the first one. So breakfast is ready, we're going to eat our breakfast, it's like Bud Spencer style beans, <laughs> vegetables and bread. And then we're going to pack our stuff and to go home. To summarize the whole trip, uh, it was very nice. The place here, especially this bay, it's, it's, it's a very nice place to be, it's pure nature, there is nobody around. The only thing which was a little loud was the the airplanes which were like flying the whole night in and out in and out. I guess they had some training or something like that. Now it's now it's better. Overall fishing wise the stuff from Europe did not work out. So those ground rods with this metal feeder and hair rig and stuff like that they did not work out. I guess it is because the fish in this bay the fish which came into this bay were very small so they did not manage to hook up additionally the bites in general have been very very cautious so very carefully and I guess when they bite like that and when the fish are small so they don't hook themselves up as those ground rods are meant to be and this is why I did not catch anything here on this method I did catch some fish on on feeder which you have seen Kirill also caught some in the night, even larger ones around this size while I was sleeping. But yeah, lessons learned. Next time I'm going to try it, maybe not in this bay, but in in the central part of the of the reservoir because there it's deeper. I know it. I have checked it with the fish finder. There we have more than 12 meters of depth, so I guess the larger fish will be there. I thought about to not make a video because I did not catch anything serious. Or I did not catch anything large. However, I just wanted to share this nature. I mean, how often are, how often are you in Russia? So, this is why I then decided at the end to make this video not because I want to share a video or because I want to have a higher frequency, but just you know to to let you be part of that, to see how normal fishing in Russia is happening. So in in a federal state which is not known for for bears and for salmon and stuff like that which you usually see but in a normal area where people are living where they're fishing so you know you don't catch always the large ones 
I would like to catch always the large ones, but you're not. So I just wanted to share this with you and I hope you like this and see you then next time. And as we would say here in Russia, Priyatnova Betita. Goodbye.